Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Rain moving out of Terre Haute as you look at the Graper Post Building's weather cam. We'll go cloudy for the time being. Well, here's what we're tracking on the weather headlines. Severe threat over pleasant temperatures coming up. More rain next week and warming late next week, about this time next week. 66 at the airport, eh, still showing a little bit of light rain there. Humidity's way up there, 96%. Winds out of the west at 9, pressure very fast rise. Now up to 29.94, still going up. Here at the studios, 5,700, 7 inches of rain. We're at 4.07 for the month, more on the way. Looks like it's going to turn out to be an above average rainfall month for May, and we'll continue to add to that surplus of more than an inch. Low temps, 59 over Mattoon, 64 at the airport, Bloomington warmer at 66, 65 at Vincennes, and the high temps came before the rain moved in. 83 Washington, Vincennes, 77 over at Effingham. Temps right now cooling steadily. 60 Paris, Mattoon, 65 Robinson. The cooler air starting to filter in from the northwest. You can see a 58 there at Champaign. Contrast that with 67 at Washington, 68 at Bloomington. But that cooler air is going to flow in. That's dry air as well. So we'll get the rain out of here oh, over the next few hours. Temps tomorrow, mid-60s. Then back to the 50s tomorrow night. So a little bit of a below normal stretch there. It was windy when this uh, system moved through. And you can see we had a peak gust at Robinson of 49. Floor at 48. Peak gust here at the studios of 30 miles an hour. Had a handful of severe thunderstorms, 60 mile an hour winds, one inch hail. That's the minimum you need to issue a warning. But some reports of trees and power lines down in Owen County and around Bloomington, maybe a few in Vigo County too. Winds right now starting to switch, come out of the northwest, five to 10 miles an hour overnight. Clouds are going to stick with us. Maybe we'll start to break those down here and there. The cooler air will start to filter in. So we will drop into the 50s as we go through the overnight hours. Big picture, quiet to the west. Here's our storm system now, but we can see we're still very active down in the southeast. Uh, once this patches through, there'll be a little bit of leftover moisture back behind. So we'll just say rain ending over during the overnight hours. Maybe an errant rumble of thunder. For the most part, I think you'll be okay. You can see the bulk of the rain now uh, east of Terre Haute. This little batch back here is not going to be too impressive. So I think we're done with severe weather. Models with a pretty good handle on it. Everything pushes out tomorrow, Sunday, mostly cloudy. Tomorrow night will be a mostly cloudy evening. And then Monday to start the week, I think will be mostly cloudy as well. Tuesday night, late maybe, that's when we'll start to see some rain move back into the picture. Now, here's the seven-day forecast. Here comes the Tuesday night system. So rain likely Tuesday night, Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe some storms mixed in as well. So it looks like May is going to be on the rainy side for sure. Now, for the remainder of tonight, we'll still have a few hit or miss showers. Maybe an errant rumble of thunder, but nothing big. 56 for the low. Nice break from the normal temps in the 60s. And then tomorrow, mostly cloudy. We'll warm to 66. That'll be it. Maybe a very early shower, far eastern sections in the valley, but that's it. Looking ahead on the seven-day forecast, do we need the rain here? Tuesday night, the rain arrives. Wednesday, Thursday, and into early Friday, more showers with a few storms there Wednesday. And then Saturday, mostly sunny, 82. So after a wet week, Omar, next weekend's looking good.